My question that I have, being a first-time home buyer and working your method, is there a sweet spot when it comes to interest? Because too much interest or too little interest would be not the best thing. But is there a place where it's, it's a pretty good? You got a higher interest rate. It's pretty good for you if you're doing this particular method. Listen, I'm glad you asked that question. The answer is yes. There is a sweet spot, but it depends on the person or business. Okay. Okay. So let me give you a, a quick example. I have a guy who runs an investment firm here in Huntsville, Alabama. And when I went to his office, they wanted to ask me questions about the pill method and how it works. But the reason why they brought me into the office was to debunk the pill method, not to benefit from it. So when they brought me into the office, about a half hour into my explanation, the manager of the office says, how can I get your program? Okay. And so when we spend a little bit more time, because he said, I'm getting ready to get him a mortgage. So he says, this sounds great. He got the program. All right. And then when he went to qualify for his mortgage, that was at a time when interest rates were just a little bit higher. All right. He says, sir, we can get you a 3.75. Okay. And he says, oh, that's great. But can I have 4.25 instead? I'm sorry, sir. We just offered you 3.75. He says, yes, but I would like to have 4.25 instead. And the reason for that is because he gets bonuses. And if the interest rate is slightly higher, that means the principal payments are slightly lower. And by putting lump sums of money on an interest rate that's higher, let me give you a quick example, okay? So by not going into this too deeply, let's just say with the interest rate you have now, your principal payments are about $200 a piece, okay? $200 a month, okay? And they actually gain a little speed. They gain a little bit every month. So a little bit more principal each month you have the loan. But let's just say for average, it's about $200 a month. If you have an extra $1,000, and you apply that extra thousand dollars to principal, you knock out about five payments you never have to make. You follow me, Johnny? That's right. Okay. All right. So if you lower the interest rate, which means now more money goes to principal, less goes to interest by lowering the interest rate, correct? Correct. Now his principal payments are $300 a month. So can right. his $1,000 do as much for him now in helping him to pay off his loan faster? Yes, absolutely. What now? Toward the principal. Well, listen, if he puts down $1,000, mm -hmm. okay, before he can knock off five payments because they were $200. Okay. If his mortgage payment is now $300 a month, how many can he knock out with that $1,000? He was knocked out five for four. Yep. So if his mortgage was $300... What was his mortgage uh, payment before? Well, it's three hundred dollars now, but now he has the same thousand dollars to put towards principal. How many payments can he knock out now? Three. Three. Right. It was five before. That's right. At a higher interest rate, by lowering the interest rate, you actually make it harder to pay off the loan faster. And yeah. he found that out. So what we need to do, Johnny, is find out what is the right interest rate for you and your family based on your debt structure, based on how much you're paying out for your bills, how much is left over after all the bills are paid. And then we can come up with a pretty good idea of what interest rate is going to work best for you. I can almost guarantee you that the lowest interest rate available probably is not the right one. Right. So here's what I'm saying. All right. Because if the bank is offering a lower interest rate for a particular scenario, we feel as if we're saving money, correct? Correct. That's right. Why would a bank ever want to save us money? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think of one good reason? <laughs> uh, save us money? Yeah. <laughs> they're into making money. So they're into, I, don't, I don't know. They're into making money. And see, the best way to make money is to make you believe you're saving money. Yeah. Okay? By making That's you right. believe you're saving money, then you'll sign up for the program every time. Okay? So I was just talking to somebody yesterday, 
uh, Dr. Delaney and I had a conversation and uh, I was talking about a person who was six years into their 30 year mortgage. Interest rates dropped. And they refinanced to a new 30 year mortgage. They were feeling really good about the fact that they got a lower payment and a lower interest rate. But they totally skipped over the fact now they have a 36 year mortgage. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> Guess what they're going to do five to seven years from now, Johnny? What? Refinance again. Did you know? Yeah. Did you know Americans refinance every five to seven years? Wow. And, and we don't have 30 year mortgages in the United States. We have a string of five to seven year mortgages until we die. Do you know I meet people, they had a, a mortgage since their 20s, and now they're in their 70s, and they have close to 30 years left on their mortgages? Folks, wow. we see that all the time. I'm going to tell you a little story about how that works. You know, a couple meet each other, you know, they fall in love, they decide to get married and have children, and hopefully in that order. <laughs> All right. And so now and they get a little house. All right. And they're loving that little house. But, you know, once they have one and a half children, that means they've got one and one on the way. They're realizing what the house that we have is too small. That's about right. five to seven years in. So what do they do? They get a new house. Right. And a new 30 year mortgage, don't they? That's right. OK. And now about five to seven years after that, interest rates drop. Mm. <laughs> and so they're getting phone calls and their friends are doing it and their mailbox is getting stuff full. And guess what they're going to do five to seven years after that? They're going to refine it. They're going to refinance that loan, aren't they? Yeah. Five to seven years in. Now, save more money. Yes. Exactly. Now, little Johnny and little Rebecca, you know, Johnny, Rebecca, you know, they're getting a little older now, getting close to college age. And mom and dad weren't able to save as much money as they wanted to save. But now their house is worth more and they've got some equity. So what are they going to do five to seven years after that? Um, finance again. <laughs> to get wow. that cash out to help little Johnny and Rebecca go to school. Right. That's right. Now, Johnny, little Johnny and little Rebecca finally graduate, go out on their own. Mom and dad are kicking around this big old house all by themselves. And what do they all do right. then? Sell it. <laughs> they downsize to another house and get a brand new 30 year mortgage at age 55 or 60. Hmm. Um, nine out of 10 people, you know, Johnny will never, ever pay off a mortgage because of that. Wow, That's the system wow. we're in. And listen, that story is so common and we just accept it as the way to go and never think about the fact that we're going from a 30 to a 37 to a 42 to a 49 <laughs> to a 56 year mortgage that will never pay off. Never pay off. Come on, never man. Mortgage. <laughs> Johnny, do you have wow. any other questions for me today? Man, I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I sure don't, but I absolutely uh, love listening to it and can't wait to uh, get started when I need it, you know. Oh, listen, man, we can help you right away. So you definitely want to go to ice10k.com. That stands for interest cancellation expert. And then click on get a savings and earnings report. And you can know the month, day, and year you can be debt free, not just on your mortgage but on your mortgage, your student loans, your credit cards, your car loans, it, all of it, generally within a seven to nine year window. And if you're getting your first mortgage here, folks, you can know all of this before you even close. How yes. about that? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming to the stage, my brother. We appreciate you. But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He's, it's his book. Why not get that? Is I'm going to go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm going to link up with uh, uh, Don, and then I'm going to sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio, and see how I can eliminate interest.